Hey everyone, my name is Alex Ramsby. I'm an MSP consultant here at Provel Tech. Today I wanted to go over some of the new ConnectWise RMM features that we just referenced in the webinar most recently. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It has some of the comparisons between Automate and ConnectWise RMM. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So once you log into ConnectWise RMM, your portal should look very similar to this. Um, they may do some UI features in the future, so this video might phase out of date at some point, but as of today, the February 24th, uh, 2022, this is what the UI currently looks like. I wanted to go over how to set a custom EDF. So if we go over to settings and custom fields, we can add multiple types of EDFs. So on the right-hand side here, we'll give the, the EDF a name. In this case, we can just call it like Workstation OS. If I could type correctly. And then we have the option of doing a flag, so like a checkbox on or off. Um, we have a text box where we can put in any amount of text. We have a dropdown and a date picker to of course pick the date for things like asset management and things like that. In this case, I just want to do text box and the default value. If you want anything in here, you can definitely set that. Otherwise I will leave that blank. And then the endpoint, there is going to be um, what they call site client and partner endpoints because this is planned to be a multi-tenant, then they will allow you to set EDFs on certain ones. Currently, the only ones that are available are endpoint, which will work perfect in our case. And then editable, you can say yes or no. If you want this to be updated only by scripts or some automation, or you want somebody to be able to update it if need be. In this case, I want to say, just leave it as editable. And it looks like I do have to enter a default value here. So I will just write Windows 10. Give this a description. And I'll just write OS of the machine. I'll hit save. So now we have our text box EDF here to find this on the actual machine. If you come down on the left hand side and go to computers, if I just pick up a test machine here, there is now a custom field uh, sub tab. Any of these are automatically applied. So these are where all of them will be. Thankfully, they do give you a nice search bar. You no longer have to have sub tabs like you do in Automate. With that being said, this is the OS of the machine. The default value we set is Windows 10. I can update this to Windows 11 if need be. That may help with your automation later. And speaking of automation, Check out the next video where I go into where to be able to pull that into a script. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvelTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.